Hey, everybody, I'm John Granado. That's Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can also see Josh's work at sportsmanhouston.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at Sportsmap HOU. Trade deadline approaching. Uh, there's a situation that could be developing here. The, a- the Yankees still have no timetable for Judge. They need an outfielder. And just last week, Ken Rosenthal tweeted, Chaz McCormick might be in the offing with a trade with the Astros. Could we really see an Astros-Yankee deadline deal? It was an interesting nugget that he put out there saying that the Yankees have made offers for Chaz McCormick to the Astros. They've been turned down. But he had a he had multiple sources that spoke with anonymity so they could lay it out. But they said that they like what Chaz has, that he has that opposite field power that they think it would play very well in Yankee Stadium. And if I'm another team looking at the Astros, like you haven't really committed to Chaz full full time. You didn't even start him when the season began. So maybe the Astros don't value him as much as everybody else does. So I'm not surprised that you know, that maybe they kicked the tires on that. But after Dana Brown said they're looking for a starting pitcher, I just, there's, the Yankees are, they're dealing with enough problems with their starting rotation. They don't really have one to trade. So I just don't think it's a, it's a good fit. No, you can't do a minor leaguer. Okay. You need somebody right now. And yeah, they, they, they like Jake Myers. They played, but that's dusty. That's dusty doing that. That's not the front office. When he was playing Miles Straw, they said, okay, we got to take that away from you because you can't play Miles Straw anymore. And look how good that turned out. And you got Yiner in that deal and you got Maton in that deal. So you, you can't, you can't trade Chaz McCormick, please. For the Yankees, for what? For what pitcher? They need starting pitching. What are they going to give you in return? Does Jake Myers have any – is there anybody – there's there's guys in the organization that have value. Yeah. There is no question about that. But is anybody right now tradable that will help another team? I think so to some extent. And Dana Brown did say that because it's going to be so hard with this you know, upcoming deadline, they might have to play, trade a major league player for another major league player. And he said his outfielders is where they kind of have a, a log jam, and that's where he'd be looking to go. So who does that bring up? Corey Jolks? Jake Myers? I don't think you can trade Chaz because – he should be your starting center fielder, but even say you move to Dubon out there full time, then you you lose that infield depth with him, and you've needed that so much this year. So for me, I'd like to see him trade Jake Myers, so then yeah. Dusty wouldn't have any other option than to play Chaz every day. Uh, yeah. That's the way I'd lean. Yeah, no, 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 no. Jake Myers. Okay, that that. that. And you see, but here's us. Okay, yeah, trade Jake Myers. What do you get for Jake Myers, though? I mean, you're not, you're not going to get a number two starter for Jake Myers, right? You're gonna, are you going to get a, even a, anybody that's going to be – you're going to use it. You may be a reliever that you can use in the postseason, but that's about it. Yeah, I, I just think that maybe you could bundle Jake Myers with something else. And, and if any – he is a really good defensive center fielder. So if a team is looking for that, he could help them in that aspect. And then I look at Corey Jolks. He would be appealing to me because he's a speed power guy. You know, he's already got 15 stolen bases on limited at bats. You know, he's hitting 280 something, six home runs. But if I'm the Astros, I'd want to hold on to him. You know, maybe when the playoffs come around, he's a guy that can steal you a bag and, you know, and get you in scoring position. That could come in really handy. It took him a while to get up, though. So he's an older player. Yeah. But you got a lot of team control on him. And yeah, he has proven that he can hit. I mean, you give him away like you gave away Siri. And look what Siri, Siri's putting up some nice numbers. So it, that's a to me, it's a little dangerous. But you got an overload of outfielders right now, and you're there, and not enough at bats. You got to get Mauricio Dubon in, but you got to play Charles. You got to play Chaz. I think you do have you're 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 going to be dealing with a position of strength there. It's whether or not, it's just how much any of those guys really are going to bring back. Yeah, I mean, if the Yankees want to send Garrett Cole over here for Chaz, I think I'd entertain it. But uh, I really don't see that happening. I don't want him. He had he wore a Scott Boris hat. I don't want him. He, <laughs> he's, he's out. Beat it, Garrett Cole. We don't need you over here anymore. Beat it. 